Hello YouTube, today I'm at Spirit Ford taking a look at this 2021 Ford F-150. This particular one is pretty special. It's a very well equipped and optioned out uh, Lariat Super Crew FX4. It's got the really nice Velocity Blue exterior color. It's got a 5.0 V8 and a 10 speed automatic transmission. Now I am not a salesman by any means. I don't work for any of the manufacturers I do videos on. Um, but this one does strike me as a little unique. It looks like it's leveled in the front and it also has the limited style LED headlights. My brother has a Lariat Sport and his LED headlights are very different than that. And honestly, I think it looks very, very nice with that style of LED headlight. So starting off up front, you are gonna get the uh, Lariat style grill front facing camera this guy does have the 360 degree camera system like i was saying this thing is very well optioned led headlight led accent c channel into the fog lights that are all led as well black tow recovery hooks coming around to the side we have some hankook uh, dana pro at2s and those are 275-60R20 on the gray style sport Ford wheel. Your F-150 Lariat badge is right there. Chrome mirror caps, and they are, are power folding. I'll go over that in a little bit. The sport style Ford running boards, color matched handles, as well as the passive entry system. You got your FX4 off-road decal right here chrome exhaust tip led tail light with your blind spot monitor right there color matched rear bumper with parking sensors integrated into it we have your trailer connector right here f-150 is stamped into the tailgate you got a led puddle light right here which makes hooking up a trailer in low light conditions a little bit easier you got your backup camera right there cargo camera up top as well in the third brake light right here we have your capless fuel fill port and then right over here we have your keyless entry system so overall this is a very very nice looking lariat truck and it was specked out perfectly and again it looks dang near level from the outside it's a lot taller in the front than the standard F-150s on the lot. So with that being said, let's take a look at the interior and warm up just a bit. So starting off over here on the left-hand side, I do wanna point out, this does have a two-tone leather to it. It's got this nice dark black leather and this almost burgundy dark red um, accent leather as well. Right here we have all the window controls for the vehicle. The front driver and passenger windows are automatic up and down. In front of that, we have the mirror controls. Like I said, power folding mirrors, and then it also power extends too, so you don't have to get out of the vehicle and manually extend the mirrors. In front of that, we have your lock and unlock buttons, as well as your three seat memory. Then right here, we have the LED lights for the mirrors themselves. That's your power plug for the um, bed of the vehicle, and that will actually lower the tailgate. Below that, we have your cargo lamp, rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle. And then to the right of that, we have the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Below that, we have a electronic parking brake and a power adjustable foot pedal. Now coming up to the instrument cluster, it is 100% digital. It's very cool and you can monitor a bunch of different things. And the setup is a little bit different depending on what drive mode you're in. Coming back to the steering wheel, very nice soft leather wrap steering wheel. It is heated with mild bolsters at 10 and two. Right over here, we have all these safety uh, buttons for the vehicle, including your uh, adaptive cruise control gap distance, lane keep assist, the volume controls for the radio, as well as your hands-free uh, push to speak button. And then over here on this side, we have all the controls for the digital display up top. It's it's so cool, it's, it's very awesome. And then under that, we have more physical buttons for the radio. This guy does have the B&O Premium Audio Group, little storage tray up top, 
right here, if it'll focus, sorry about that guys. I've got your automatic start stop button. This button will toggle you through the different camera views. Hazard light button. This being an FX4, you are gonna get your hill descent control right here. Traction control off. Absolutely massive touchscreen display with navigation. Obviously it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Something that I really like about this is when you're, you have one thing open on this side, it does still retain the navigation over there. Very, very cool. Tons of features within this touchscreen display. You do have your zone lighting, onboard power. You have a bunch of different features from this touchscreen display. I absolutely love it. Over to the left-hand side, we have your Pro Trailer Backup Assist. Push button start. Integrated trailer brake control right here. Below that, we have your push button transfer case. Two high, four high, four automatic, and four low. We also have the different drive mode selector on this dial. And you do have a different kind of display depending on what mode you're in. We're gonna go all the way to sport because that's my favorite mode. You also push this in and it will um, lock the rear diff. I believe it stays locked up into about 15 or 20 miles an hour. I, I can't remember what one it is, but I know it's one of those. Right over here, we have the physical buttons for the audio. Very nice premium audio sounding uh, speakers. Right here we have your dual zone climate control with heated steering wheel button as well as heated and ventilated seats for the driver and passenger. Underneath that we have a little storage bar right here. You push on it, giving us access to a USB-C and USB outlet as well as a removable business card holder. Pen storage right here. LED ambient uh, lighting cup holders this uh, center shifter with manual plus minus on the side it does fold down giving you a complete load flat surface uh, so if you opted for the center armrest that folded forward you'd have a huge flat area right here however this one did not opt for that instead you have a huge storage tray with a USB-C and USB outlet right down in there and then a cutout right there for some cord management beautiful leather seats with the burgundy piping. Right here we have your 12 volt outlet as well as a 120 volt 20 amp outlet right there. This vehicle has two glove boxes. The first one you open by pushing this button right here. Second one is gonna be right here. Pretty nice size. Coming up top to the vanity, it is LED lit for a passenger as well as your driver. And on the driver vanity, you do get a three-door universal garage remote. Coming up over here, glass of storage is gonna be right there. Power sliding rear window button. And then because, because this has the twin pane sunroof, all of your buttons for that are gonna be in the middle. And then you're gonna have your LED dome map light buttons on the side, so. Overall, very impressed with this interior. Uh, this is a very, very well optioned truck. Let's take a look at the back seats and see how much legroom we have. So before I get in, I do want to point out the running boards and the grab handle make it very easy to get into the rear seats. Uh, these seats do fold up, giving us access to a massive load flat floor. So if you have any more delicate items like TVs you don't want to put in the bed, you can put them back here and not worry about it. it does come with floor liners from Ford. With the driver's seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I have a solid 10 to 12 inches of legroom. You do get storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders right there. Heated seat buttons, 12 volt outlet. And then under that we have your media hub with a USB-C and USB outlet, as well as another 120 volt 20 amp power outlet right here. The center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. And because of the panoramic sunroof, your hanger hooks and LED dome map lights are up on the side over here. Let's take a look at the bed. So there's a couple ways to release a tailgate on this vehicle. The first way is with the button to the left of the steering wheel I had previously showed you. Second way is with the key fob. And then the third way is the traditional way. You're gonna come to it, push the button, and it's automatically dampened for you. This guy does have the drop-in bed liner as well as four tie-down points, one in each of the four corners. 
as well as the additional cleat system for four more tie down points. Got your LED bed lighting right here. And then the 120 volt, uh, 20 amp power outlet right here as well that can be controlled with the button to the left of the steering wheel. The second generation tailgate has some little Easter eggs for you. It's got inch markings from zero all the way to 48 and centimeter markings from zero to 100. You also have a cup holder right here, some pen storage right there, little C clamps on both driver and passenger side of the lift gate, additional tie down point on each side of the tailgate as well. That doubles as a bottle opener, but you didn't hear it from me. Also has the deployable step. Um, I definitely am not light by any means and I can confidently jump up and down on this and not worry about it breaking. To put it away, you just follow the numbers, push in on one, push down on two, put that in, and then pick up the step and put it in. Now because it does have the tailgate step, it is slightly heavier than just a normal aluminum tailgate. But again, it is aluminum, so it is still pretty manageable to take three fingers, slam it shut, and you're good to go. Let's take a quick look at the window sticker. So here's a window sticker for this guy. Again, it's a 2021 F-150 Super Crew 4x4 with a 5.0 V8 and a 10-speed automatic transmission. It is a Lariat. Standard equipment's gonna be right here for a base price of $52,795. Optional equipment right here. Most notably, you have the Equipment Group 502A for $6,920 as well as the FX4 off-road package for an additional $1,005. And then you have other miscellaneous package charges here. Total before discounts is $70,235, but you do get a Lariat High Chrome slash Sport discount of $1,500 for a total MSRP of $68,735. Fuel economy ratings are gonna be right here. This vehicle is rated at 16 miles per gallon city, 22 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 19 miles per gallon. I wanna give Spirit Ford a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you wanna get into a 2021 or 2022 uh, F-Series vehicle, I will be leaving all the contact info in the description below. Uh, this vehicle was optioned very, very well. It looks absolutely beautiful. So if you want it, let Cheryl Yaros know you saw the YouTube video and she will be more than happy to go over all the discounts, rebates, and incentives you qualify for. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share as well as a subscription. And please check out all the affiliate links in the uh, description below. It does greatly help out the YouTube channel. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.